Hi everybody. Today I wanted to discuss with you um, how the body tries to protect yourself from acidosis. There's four ways that I'm going to share with you today. Um, one is edema. Two is inflammation. One is calcium and the fourth is cholesterol. So edema is water retention build up in the body due to extreme acidosis. So if you are acidic, your body will retain water. Any type of fluid that you are ingesting, it will retain it um, in the area of need where it is acidic. And um, inflammation, can be, like I said before in my other video, pain, um, redness, swelling, um, loss of the limb, not loss of the limb, loss of fu function, lose a fun you lose function of some part of your body um, with inflammation if it, if it gets serious. Um, and calcium. Calcium is taken from the body as a means to help you fight off the acid, um, the extreme acidosis in your body. So your body can leach it from your bones um, if it's not able to use up the calcium that is circulating throughout your body. So if you have um, certain issues that uh, deal with calcium, then you are acidic because it is leaching it from your body. And then the fourth is cholesterol. If you see your levels of cholesterol increasing, that means that the body is producing the cholesterol to help fight off the acidosis. It seems and sounds weird and hard to, to process, because a lot of people say they, you know, they have high cholesterol, but they have good and bad cholesterol. All cholesterol, regardless if it's HDL or LDL, it's all, it's, it's not good. But the body uses the cholesterol because it protects you from extreme acidosis. So that's four different ways that the body calls out for help when you're, you're, you have too much acid in your body or acid residue. So just be aware, and I just wanted to educate you to um, see those different options. Thanks.